What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that's out on Steam. It's a prologue version of the game. Link is in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. Moon farming. I figure since we farm so much on Earth, why not hop up to the stars? It's a beautiful time. Um, I'm not quite sure how long the playthrough is for the prologue. It seems like it might be a little uh, much, but we'll be terraforming the moon. I can only imagine. Should be wild. So I'll hop on in. New game, sure, why not? The moon. The brightest and largest object in our night sky. The moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis. Leading to a relatively stable climate. We visited the moon half a century ago, and have not been back since. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But there is still so much we don't know about the moon. We still aren't totally sure how the moon formed. There's still a lot of moon rocks left to analyze. We learned that water exists on the moon. But we don't know exactly how much. Are we ready to visit moon again? Are we ready to set up a colony for humans? We believe that this time has come. Mission control, the bird has landed. I can only assume that that's something that's bad. Like, uh, the landing didn't go Welcome as planned. Moon. It's a whole new experience on this planet. You'll Thank you, Speak and Spell Command. No time. Well, Hello. not like you have a choice. You're stuck there for the rest of your life. I like when they try to give computers a personality and then they keep on giving it to us in like a, a, some sort of speak and spell type situation. Like, welcome to the moon. It's a whole new experience on this planet. You'll get used to it in no time. Well, not like you have a choice. You're stuck there for the rest of your life. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Shut okay, up. Okay, I am kidding. Don't kid, you're a robot. I'm sure you were briefed on the reason you have to come to the moon for. But such a long time in the spaceship might have caused you to forget so, I'll give you a short briefing. Great. You were sent here to build a colony for humans so that in the future we can populate and live on other planets and the moon. But if the Earth isn't all that great, what, how good the, is the moon going to be? To accomplish this purpose, you have to build a self-sustaining infrastructure that can manage the basic life support systems. No problem. You also need to collect enough resources such as food, water, oxygen, and raw materials and store them. Select Subnautica. I know that you're only a farmer and most of the things I just talked about are not in your area of expertise, but technology is ever evolving. You launched me into space. Of course it's on my expertise level, or otherwise I wouldn't be here. What is this, like Armageddon? We just throw a bunch of friggin' oil miners up onto a <laughs> comet? You'll have all the resources at Asteroid, asteroid. You just have to go through the tedious task of mining them and processing them into useful materials. Oh, good. We good, also good, good. have some other bases Down. from older expeditions with some useful resources in them. Okay. Don't worry, the owning countries of other bases won't sue you for taking their stuff. In fact, they volunteered their bases for the sake of humanity. 
You could, because I was going to take it no matter what. Finally, the most important part of your job, farming. You were selected because you were one of the best farmers on Earth. <laughs> Better believe it. Number one, you should check out these nuts farms. Now then, oh, let's we're expanding. So, for all humans to survive on the moon, you will need to have basic stuff like water, air, and food. Correct? For that reason, we need to cover those needs. We have an old base not far from here. You okay. can use a rover near you to drive to that old base. Don't worry, you can drive as fast as you want. We don't have police radars here yet. Please stop joking oh, with me. And you can press the T key to show the waypoints. Okay. Oh, keep an eye on your hunger, water, oxygen levels. Okay. Uh, that, that, that's all these things. Apparently, I think it's a winder downer. It goes around, up, down, and around. It's like a carousel with emotion. Um, if the levels drop to zero, you'll start to lose health and will eventually die. You can replenish your stats by consuming the appropriate items. <laughs> no kidding. All right, get in rover. Where am I? What is this? Whoa. These Nuts Farms has expanded to the moon. We've conquered the earth and we're here. Oh, we can hop. Is it leaving? Is it, oh, it's not leaving any marks. Oh. USA's greatest farmer is now going to conquer the moon. F to drive? Sure. Stand near the vehicle. There we go. <laughs> oh, check this out. It's pretty wild. Okay. So now we got to reach the base. Bum 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 bum. I'm a, have you ever taken this thing off any sweet jumps? We're about to find out. Let's we'll see how the hell well that works. Die, die in the first five minutes. So how did the mission, uh, how did the mission ha go, go down? Uh, everybody's dead. But what happened? What happened was, what happened was, the farmer there, he found the rover and just, he just went a little too fast. I would say it's a very barren landscape, you know, not too much, uh, stuff to really, you know, look at, but I mean, it is the moon. We have to make the things pretty to look at. All right. Looks like the base is right over this dune. Eh. Going vertical. Going vertical. We're getting up there. Hey, everybody, look, we made it. Is that a car? It is a car. This is the old base from our last trip to the moon. Still, it is in good shape and you can find some nice stuff inside of it. And yeah, I bet you are wondering why this Cybertruck is here. Oh, it's well, a Cybertruck? One of the famous technical guys from Earth has a hobby of shooting different cars into space. That's why one of his cars landed here. And yes, be careful. Maybe some other car can fall down from the space. Now, I hope not. head inside and use the computer to contact me. But we're already talking. Oh, that's fine. All right. Once the airlock is turned on, the oxygen usage will switch to external, and oxygen meter will stop depleting. Gotcha. How do I get out of this? <laughs> I like how I jumped out and then quick put the face mask. <laughs> oh, hey, what are you? Shattered glass. They called me, Mister Glass. Turn attack. I'll oh, turn on airlock. Oh. It is a cyber truck. I don't care what anybody says. If this is the future of automobiles, I'm gonna go hang myself from a ceiling fan. Be right back. That's right. The ugliest thing I've ever seen. The ugliest thing I've ever seen. Hey, Elon. Do better. Appreciate it, Elon. Much love. All right, I guess we gotta close that up here. I do like this. I mean, don't lift the don't lift the visor up right away, there, bud. <laughs> Let it decontaminate first, here, bud. Look at this, huh? Glad to Interact. see that you've made it safely to the base. Here is Thank some you. food, water, and oxygen. They should first things first. You need to set up some basic life support systems. Okay. Let's start with the solar panel. Let's do that. Solar panels will absorb the sunlight. Convert it into usable energy and store it in batteries. I know. 
That's what it does on Earth. You have to three things to keep in mind when about a solar panel. Number okay. one, always place solar panels where the sunlight can hit the glass panes or else it won't generate any batteries. Okay. Number two, solar panel takes some time to collect enough energy to store in a battery, so be patient. You can what if I'm dying? see how much time is required for battery from your heads up display by standing. Number three, solar panel has a storage compartment that is used to store batteries. Once the battery is generated, it can be retrieved from the storage compartment. Nice. Come and talk to me when you're done, or do you want me to explain again? I'm right. good. I'll figure it out. <laughs> there are two ways to place a build apart. Drag and drop the uh, build part from your inventory to quick slot and use the quick slots one through eight to show a placement project. A uh, projection, sorry. Open the action menu and by pressing the right mouse button and selecting place. Uh, solar panel added to inventory. Really? So I take it my inventory is tab. Thank God. <laughs> Otherwise I would have been soul screwed. All right, so they gave us some oxygen, some agua. I got, picked up some glass crystals, whatever that does. Build one solar panel. You got it, sir. You got it. Okay. So I take it that's Earth's green sun. <laughs> uh, let's not ask too many questions here, guys. Does this have to go on top? Ah, uh, so you got to hold R. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, here's Earth's green sun. Superman would be super duper upset. Let's go. Let's place it down. Jew. It's kind of weird. All right, so solar panel. I don't know what it stores. Possibly energy? Very good. Talk to the commander. Do I have to? All right there, commander. Everything's been done. Excellent. Now you need to build a water extraction machine. Do you know that there is water on the moon? If I, you don't I did. believe me, check Wikipedia when you get back to Earth. Why would I do that, of all things? By the way, do you know, why does water never laugh at jokes? It isn't a fan of dry humor. I hate this thing. Someone give me a hammer. Enough jokes. Now on to building a water extraction. A water extraction machine will extract water from the water that is extracted contains dirt and other harmful materials, so it can't be used as it is. More on that later. For now, you okay. need to keep four things in mind for water extraction machines. Sure. Number one. Let me hear it. In order for them to work, they need to be placed on the moon's surface. Understood. Number two. Just like solar panels, it takes some time for a water extraction machine to extract water. I get so, it. Number three. Once water has been extracted, it will be stored in the storage compartment of the water extraction machine. Okay. Number four. The water which is extracted is not usable, but I'll explain more. Now go and build that water extract report back when you're done, okay. or do you <sighs> good luck. Jesus, you could have just given me all these things, and then I would have been like, oh, this is awesome. You could be giving me like the water extractor, solar panel, and then like you can talk to me through a headset, right? Some tells me I'll be able to walk outside, and I'll be able to hear the commander. Here, watch. I'll do it right now. Here, we'll put the water on the other side here. Uh, maybe not. Looks like it's pretty tiny, tiny. Sooner we got to put all this stuff. Uh... Yeah, we'll put it on one side here. There we go. See, look what we did. We did that. <laughs> nice. Crushing this game so far. Just crushing it. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Alrighty. Great. While the machines produce the resources, you can build a water filtration plant. Okay. As I briefly mentioned before, the water from the water extraction machine is unusable. You did say that. In order to make it drinkable and usable for farming, it needs to be filtered. Exactly. That's sure, where sure. The I'm down. Filtration plant One thing to I know. keep in mind is that it needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Oh. Until I'll explain how to use this machine later. For now, go and place a water fill. Come back and talk to me when you... Good luck. So, she's so wordy. So wordy. Alright, so this has to be placed inside? Well, I mean, it's right outside here. I can, I can see it from here. I can see it from here. There's a solar panel. I mean, why not? Why not put it right there? Okay. And then talk to the commander. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we got storage bed in here. Okay. Oh, we got some extra water in here too. 
Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good job. Thank you. I just said that. Next up is the oxygen extraction machine. Just like the water filtration machine, it needs to be placed inside a structure to oxygen extraction machine will extract breathe. I'll teach you how to uh, use this machine later. For now, place it and report back. Gotcha. All right. So we have an oxygen extraction plant that uses dirty water to make oxygen. Filthy, scummy, disgusting water. Okay. We're doing it. <laughs> it's just like she's very wordy. Now that you've placed the basic life support systems, you need to know how to use them. Solar panel gives you batteries that can be used to power up different machines. Okay. You need batteries to power up water filtration and oxygen extraction machines. Both the good, machines good to know. have two storage compartments. In both the machines, first storage compartment is for dirty water and the second storage compartment is for batteries. Okay, After interesting. You have inserted the battery and dirty water. You can power up the machines. Wow. Each battery lasts only a while and once it runs out the machine will power off. You can place multiple batteries in the battery compartment. Machines will automatically consume a battery when the current one runs out. That's math. That's how electricity machines works. Won't automatically power off when the conversion is complete. You should check up on them from time to time to ensure that you make the most of your batteries. Collect gotcha. four drinkable water bottles and four oxygen tanks, then report back to me. Good luck. So tasks, task oriented. Okay, so three parts require a battery to a battery to function, convert dirty water into usable water, and breathable oxygen, respect. So we have battery storage here that has like a was it one two three four five 12 slots so we can technically put 12 batteries into here But it's all made from the solar panel And dirty water apparently dirty filthy 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 scummy water Stand near the panel to proceed I am Jerk All right so solar panels make batteries. So like if I look at, open this up. Oh, look at this dirty water. This nasty, filthy, scummy, dirty water. And we have two batteries. So it just, <laughs> it just makes batteries out of nowhere. Also, it does it like every 12 seconds. Hold on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year, everybody. Hey, there's another battery right here. Okay, so every two minutes, every 120 seconds, we get ourselves a new battery. Something tells me that if we can't automate this, though, so it's just going to be me going back and forth trying to get batteries and dirty water. Can I get a hose? Can we, can we bring some of this in? All right. Here, let's split this. Put a battery in here. And some dirty water. Turn it on. Look at this. Look at it go. Okay, this dirty water right here turns into a bottle of a water bottle. Look at that. We created four. Crushing it. Collect four water bottles. <laughs> Already way ahead of you. Oxygen extraction. Let's put a battery in there. Do I need to put dirty water in here too? Really? I have a question. If I just hit this, nope. Got to seal up the doors. What do you think this is? Automation station? Is it satisfactory? It is not. It is not. It is, it is not. All right, more dirty water. So every 35 seconds that goes off? All right, you filthy, filthy water. Let's go ahead and put you in there. Turn you on. Got plenty of bottles of water. This is heavy water due to bottle container water can be used to drink such to, to quench the thirst quench the thirst I say How are we looking over here dirty water filthy scummy scuzzy dirty water We're soon close to getting that oxygen tank that we need ever so quickly actually now that I'm looking at it All right, let's pop it in there Stack them on top of each other talk to the commander you talk to the commander Looks like we got some agua problems, so let's go ahead and drink ourselves a little something. Oh, it's delicious. You are almost settled in. 
Why, thank you. Just one more thing and you'll have the basic life support systems up and running. I'm down. Next up is the farming stations. This is the main reason for you being sent here. I understand. Let's get to planting some seeds. Don't Let's try do to smoke or eat them. Why would they I do that? For planting and only for planting. Why would I smoke them? Why would I smoke seeds? What are you trying to say here? <laughs> Command. Commander. I'm a commander. I hope you've eaten as much meat as you could before coming here. Because More than you can possibly imagine. Be eating here are vegetables. I don't know. Are you vegetarian or not? But from now, you will need to become one to survive here. We're going to make some impossible burgers. Yes. The temperature of the moon is too cold for farming. So just like other machines, this one also needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Okay. They are very simple to use. All you need to do is to select a plant that you want to farm. Then add sufficient water and harvest the plant when it's done. Okay. Now go place three farming pots and harvest come back and talk to me when you don't 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 tell me what to do all right so you can plant a seed by selecting the seed from the menu plant requires water for growth once that plant is ready you can harvest it nice so uh i suppose i gotta put it all in here huh sure all right farming pot watch your mouth all right how big are these things not that big. Rising. There. Boop that down. We'll boop that down right next to it. Crushing it. And then from six, go ahead and interact. Beet, cabbage. What we got here? There we go. We got cabbage. So six, six seconds. Water drain. Water drain. What? Oh, so seed seed planted. Oh, oh. Let's water it. Water added. Hey, 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 we're doing it. We're the best planters, the best farmers of all time. Cabbage. We'll water that one too. We got water for days, man. I'm, I'm, I'm filtering dirty water. Y'all just watch out. What about over here? Berries. We'll water those berries there too. Beautiful thing. Is there any light going on here? Harvest one plant? Oh, look at this. It's growing. It's growing before our very eyes. I'm, tell I'm telling you, I'm the greatest farmer in the history of farmers. Look at that growth. Do I have to water it every time? I do have to do it every time. Really? That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because we only got three more bottles of water. Well, yeah, three more bottles of water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Excuse me, do you have any more dirty water? You do have dirty water. Well, that's good. Good, good, good. Take those batteries here, too. So this is like the part of the game where you're realizing, like, man, uh, we really need to try and figure out some automation. Of course, this is a prologue. It's a demo. Don't expect everything to be flushed out. But when you're coming to space, automation is key. Here, let's get some water. Get some, uh, some dirty water. We'll split these. Pop that in here. Split these up here, too. Bugaboo. You know what? We do need... We need a bunch of these. Turn it on. Gonna need more water. We're gonna need it. Oxygen, not so much. So let's go ahead and we'll interact with this. Let's give it some more water. We got some more water coming. Look at that growth. Harvest! We're harvesting our first ever plants. Oh, ha, 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 ha. we are crushing it. A fresh, ready beat to eat. You seem tired. Get I am. Some rest. Here is a bed. Place it and go to sleep. Go to sleep. We'll start when you have had some rest. Okay. You can use the bed to save the game. The save slot name is the same as the name for the bed. Okay. I mean, where? Where to go? How big is the bed? Is it comparable? I am a... I am a man of certain needs, certain wants. I can only assume that that's the, the correct end to the bed. Otherwise, I that headboard would be very awkward. Very, very awkward. You know what? I'm just going to put it right there. Name. These Nuts. 
farms. Oh, look, we got a little TVs and everything, too. Interesting. All right, save the game. <laughs> we we have rested. Whew, man, what a load. What a load off my brain. Oh, for a second there. For a second there, I was starting to get concerned. Water, batteries, nice, okay. So say I want to get some berries over here. Water. We'll add some more water. And then over here, we water. And it looks like it needs a bunch of water. Lots and lots of water. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, batteries. We're talking batteries. Oh, look at this. Water one more time. That should be good enough. Berries. Jeez. So we're going to have to make some more water. Uh, let's get some dirty water. We'll split that up. Drop that in. Oh, it's turned on. Oh, it's constantly turned on. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and make some oxygen just in case. We'll turn that on as well. Water that. And now we're all out of water. Oh, God. How are we going to survive here? I'm so parched. That's how we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just chill out, everybody. Chill out. And I also notice how there's not a, uh, like a shift click to go over into this, you know? Let's put some of those glasses in here. Beets. Now, we've already used up all the seeds except for the beets. Oh, no. We've got beets, carrots, all sorts of stuff going on here. This is a wild, wild game. I'm kind of digging it, to be honest with you. I'd like to see where it goes from here. You know what? I think that's going to, we're going to call it right here. We're getting everything started. We're wandering about. Just a quick little prologue, and then this way we'll get into the second part in another episode. Sounds okay? Sounds good. I like this. I like this a lot. It can, it can be expounded on, you know? Like we can... There is a building aspect of it, like a base building aspect of it. There's science. There's nature. I mean, we have to make the nature. But we haven't even gotten into the drilling yet. Like, what are all these rocks? Like, what do we do with all these rocks? Must we refine them? Oh, that would be wild. That would be wild. Shattered glass. Oh. Something tells me it's going to be very, very necessary. But it does look wild. This is definitely going to be on my radar. Along with, uh, there's another one called Planet Terraform or something like that. Planet, Planet, uh... Planet uh, Maker? Something like that? We must design the future. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some channel ever so much more than you know, and if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Everyone, peace out, like shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Moon Farming. Woo, ha ha! Next time. All right, let's go see what's the. Uh, we need to get some more, uh, some more power converters, some batteries, some food. It must be done.